Hi there, this is a quick video just to show you how to add text files, uh, .csv, .txt files to your map and uh, plot, plot points from those XY um, uh, spatial reference coordinates that you've got in your text file. If you've got a .tab uh, file, then it'd expect uh, tab to be the delimiter. Um, but obviously with CSV, it's, it's, a, it's a expecting a comma. Um, so this is a free a load of free data here from um, ONS. This is UK data, lots of stuff here, postgres, boundaries, just all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's the URL there for um, UK um, folks who are interested, and I'll put that in the description. So I then found in that this one, um, pubs, obviously. <laughs> um, so this is the CSV I'm grabbing. Uh, this is the field definition. It's a load of pubs in the UK and uh, they're mapped to this ONS postcode. So it's a, they're, they're a bit sort of rough and not particularly accurate. You, you, you're looking at probably 50 meters roughly as a guess, um, you, you know, accuracy. So it's not sort of something you do door to door routing with, but pretty good for general analysis. So I've already downloaded this data. So how do you add it? Well, you go to, an, um, you go to map and add data and you go to XY point data. So you've got XY coordinates in your file. That's what it's expecting. And and certainly if you look at back at this data set, you can see here in the fields, it's got um, Eastings and Northings. So that's British National Grid, um, X and Ys, but it's also got latitude and longitude. So, um, so it's definitely covered off with XY coordinates. So the input table, so you click on that and then uh, just select, um, find where you downloaded. It's called Open Pub CSV. Press OK, and it puts it in there. Gives a default feature class name. I've got a default temp uh, sort of geo database where I store stuff in for projects. When I highlight it, you can see um, what I've got there, and uh, it gives it a fairly longish name. You see, it says X Y table to point. You could call it anything you like. Some sometimes you you, you might want to keep stuff concatenated on the end there so you can you can see how it's created and, that, and that's sort of um, quite quite useful you know for, for a bit of audit trail sort of thing anyway I'll um, get rid of that just to tidy it up just call it open pubs it's open data pubs now I know it's field 5 where the data set is so note that this CSV does not have the um, uh, headers so if I just open it up in Notepad++. This is the raw data you see. So you can see right at the top there, it gets straight into the data. Now, if there was a first line in there with the field names as the first line, then they would be read by ArcGIS Pro. It would read through and you'd have your field names, but I don't. It doesn't happen in, in this data set. Uh, I don't know why really. They, they really should do as a standard, but anyway. So that's why you, these come up as field five and then field six. I know those are um, X and Y. If you've got a Z field height, yeah, go for it. It's not appropriate in this case. What about coordinate system? Well, I know it's UK data. So um, somewhere in here, I've got my favorites. There you go. Oh, no, well, that's interesting. I haven't got my favorites in there. I did have my favorites, um, but uh, hmm, seems to have disappeared. Anyway, um, so I'll select British National Grid because that's what it is. Um, that is, uh, I usually have favourites in there. I must be doing something, something wrong here. Uh, my favourites is empty. Interesting. Anyway, I'll have to revisit that. Um, my favourite seems to have been zapped. Must be a little bug. Um, anyway, so I've selected the coordinate system because I know what not, I know what they are x y's, um, and I'll run that. So I run it. I run it straight away. I could have scheduled the run, um, but uh, I'll just run it straight away. So down here you can see it's running. Um, I can get details. What you can carry on using. Um, um, uh, all right. So there's one way off there. There's one, one that's gone slightly awry. Um, but anyway, so here, here you can see the all the points mapped. So there's obviously that one miles away. Uh, it's obviously zero zero or something. And um, and these are all the points. So if we go to my over the world over here, Leicester, um, 
here you go. So I know these, I mean, this particular, so, so that it's very simple to get X and Y straight on and go, go off um, straight in there and under the, you know, under the map, add data, add X, Y point data, that, that's all you're doing. And then you can see, see the data, here they go. Um, so, so I know that's, you know, that's a bit, that's about 20, 30 meters away from where it really is. Cause this open data is, is only to the sort of rough postcode center coordinate. Um, so like I said, it's not door to door, but you can see when I click, it's just got all these fields listed um, as field names. If you wanted to change that, you could go to look at the tools and use alter field, for example, and just change the fields to whatever you want, something like that. Anyway, so that was a quick, quick um, view into getting XY data from a text file. And I even showed you a bit about to get some free data off the internet. And, uh, and there you have it. I hope you find that useful. Thank you.